bathroom. No. <laughs> now, I know smudge. I'm going to try using Dylon and I'm going to try sponging it onto my seats, onto the uh, cloth parts on the sides. Ah, uh, Smudge says it's a bad idea, but I'm going to try. We'll see what mess we can make. It probably look like someone's been murdered in here, but what do you think, Smudge? Is it going to work? What do you think? Oh, you think it's a bad idea, don't you? All right, mate. Well, you keep out the way because I don't want a red cat. Okay? I don't want a red cat. So, I mean, I'm sort of following the instructions, but the instructions on this say obviously to submerge the item of fabric, but I can't submerge my seat because it's too bloody big. Um, so it says to mix up this packet of dye in 500 ml of warm water to begin with. Um, yeah, I didn't think ahead there, did I? I need something to stir it with. I'll just stir it with this tablespoon. Oh, that looks gross, doesn't it? And then I've got to put 10 tablespoons of salt in my bucket um, with some more water. I can't remember if it said hot or cold. Warm water. Okay, so I've got to put warm water in my bucket. It says six litres, but I might try doing it so it's a bit more concentrated because obviously I'm not submerging my clothing in it I'm just using this I don't know what the salt does but it says to use the salt so I'll put the salt in yeah, so now I'll, um, I'll show you <laughs> any more progress when I'm downstairs with the seat oh my god why did I take my glove off my finger's red. <laughs> well, you know, it's worth a try, isn't it? Goodbye, seats. Dylon stuff cost, I think it was two ninety nine. So it's worth a try, isn't it? I mean, it hasn't got to be perfect because it's only it's only for Jesse.
I certainly wouldn't wear your best clothes doing this one. And I wouldn't do it in the house. Or anywhere near any kind of fabrics that you don't want to go red. good so far. <laughs> Better go and mask up the other side. Seems to be working, I don't know. I know, I was, I was saying on the camera here, it's like a murder scene. It looks really dark when I put it on. Hopefully it will dry a bit lighter. doesn't look too bad at the moment. I'm going to go and get the um, carpet pieces and see if I can dye those as well. Put my murder gloves back on. Good. Not bad for two ninety nine. looking fantastic. Well that dye, or this dye shall I say, it seems to be working well. Now I don't know what seat base I'm going to be using yet but there's plenty of dye in the bucket so I'm just going to dye them all.
don't know what this stuff's gonna dry like. It might look horrible, but at least I've tried. interesting to see what these all look like when they're dry. Probably have a look tomorrow and see what's happened. But, uh, I think that's enough dying for one night. My arms are purple. Yeah. Here's some pictures of the seats the next day. They dried a really nice colour. Not blotchy at all. And then I had a go at repairing the carpet pieces that go on the bottom of the seat. I managed to cut some pieces of carpet from the back of it and trim it into shape and glue it onto the the bare bits of metal. You can hardly notice it when it's on the car. In fact, you can't notice it at all. They come up really well. I'm impressed with the dye. And there's just no need to recover them. Thanks for watching. Bye.